Hello Glamour Ghouls and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Midge Munster and on this channel we do all things campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. Welcome back from our little week break. I took last week off for the holidays and we had such a nice week with friends and family. I hope that whatever holidays you celebrate you are having a wonderful holiday season as well. And of course today is the day after Christmas. Today I wanted to take a minute and share with you all what I got for Christmas this year. I of course never want any of these types of videos to come off as me like bragging about what I have or flaunting in any way. I just know that I, I really enjoy watching these types of videos, especially for creators that I really like because I feel like it helps me get to know them better and understand like what kind of things they like. And I was given some really thoughtful gifts this year. So I, I just wanted to share that with you and maybe talk a little bit about 2021 and kind of what all happened this year and what next year is gonna look like for us here on the channels. But before we get into the video, I do wanna take a quick moment and thank today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by HelloFresh. Now at this point, you all know I've been working with HelloFresh for several months. I absolutely love their product. One of my New Year's resolutions for 2021 was to cook at home more and HelloFresh has been a huge part of making that a success for myself. HelloFresh has a ton of delicious meals to choose from every week. I have not had a bad recipe from them yet. In fact, this most recent box we tried had my favorite recipe to date. This hoisin glazed pork was absolutely delicious. I will definitely be ordering this again. Not only is the food delicious, but HelloFresh helps me get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes, usually less. Because all of the ingredients are pre-portioned and ready to cook, it's so simple. The cleanup is quick and easy, stress-free. And because all of the food is pre-portioned and they give you exactly how much you need of each ingredient, HelloFresh allows me to eat more sustainably and waste less food. I can honestly tell you that since we have been eating at home with HelloFresh, I have felt so much better. And HelloFresh has made cooking fun for me again because I'm constantly trying new recipes I haven't cooked before, all while getting a nice balance of foods, I'm eating more vegetables. It's honestly just wonderful. So if I haven't convinced you yet, now is the time to try HelloFresh. Go to HelloFresh.com right now or use the link in the description box and use the code MidgeMonster16 for 16 free meals plus three surprise gifts. That's that's midgemonster16 at hellofresh.com for 16 free meals plus three surprise gifts. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get back to the Christmas haul. So first and foremost, I am hoping you will notice that today's sound is very nice. And that is because of this wonderful wireless microphone that my mother-in-law got me for Christmas. I am so excited about this. Uh, it is hooked directly into my camera rather than my old microphone. I had to sync the sound and the camera audio every time I edited. It wasn't horrible, but it definitely wasn't ideal and it added a lot of time to my editing. So this is so nice. It's just this little tiny Rode wireless microphone. I'll show you up close. I am so excited about this. It's about to make my life so much easier. <laughs> I'm so thankful. I know that maybe like isn't the most interesting thing to everyone, but uh, I do get a lot of questions from people about YouTube and what kind of equipment I use and all that. So I did want to share that. And uh, of course I will link the model down in the description box if you want to check this out. If you are also a video person and this is something you would like to know more about, I will have that information in the description box for you. Also another thing you can't necessarily see right now because it is in use is I did get a new tripod for my mother-in-law as well, which is really exciting. Uh, my old tripods, I got them probably three, two or three Christmases ago when I was first starting to like really try to make YouTube a, a thing for me. I got like studio lights that year, a ring light, some, some tripods. But at that time I didn't really know what all I would need to um, facilitate the best content possible. 
And of course, like you can make a YouTube video with a with a phone, <laughs> like you can do it with anything. But now that this is my career and I'm learning more about what I need to make good content, I, I'm really thankful that I was able to get a new tripod as well that has like a, a lever action. My old tripods are like static and they just point forward basically. So if I needed a weird angle, I would have to like hold the tripod, hold like a handheld a uh, little, you know, tripod stick or or kind of like rig a weird thing under the feet of my tripod to get the right angle. It was just kind of a mess. <laughs> so again, not the most exciting thing, but I, I am really excited to have a tripod that has a bunch of different angles available to help me just create even better content. Next up, I have a couple gifts I got from friends. So first is this little tote bag that says, what a treat, what a dream. <laughs> And uh, if you don't know, this is Nicole Byer from Nailed It. And my friend that I used to work with, James, sent it to me in the mail. And I love this so much. He always used to tell me that um, I reminded him of Nicole, <laughs> mostly because I'm very loud and very excitable. <laughs> But I think this is such cute art of her and I think she's really funny. So uh, this is just nice. And I love that it's like functional. It's something I will use. I can carry it around with me. So it's very useful and very, very cute. <laughs> Next was given to me by my friend Richard and uh, he gave me the ColourPop Hocus Pocus eyeshadow palette. I am so excited about this. This is something that was not particularly easy to get your hands on this past year. I will show you the actual palette here. So here's the actual front of the palette. It has this beautiful cauldron on it and all this like text from the film. And then this is the palette itself, which I think is just a really stunning color story. I love the uh, shimmers look super pigmented, which is not always an easy thing to achieve. <laughs> and I just love the different names of the shadows are very like specific, like Dead Man's Toe <laughs> is this like deep purple color. <laughs> Tis firm. <laughs> this color is called Yabos. <laughs> so overall, they're just like really cute names for the shadows and the color story again is super beautiful. It definitely has shades that are very reminiscent of like Sarah and Mary and Winifred. I just think I will be able to do a lot of really cool looks with this palette. So very excited. Since we're already in the makeup vein, I'm going to stay there for a minute. Uh, this is from my mother-in-law and this is a palette from Trixie Cosmetics, which if you do not know, Trixie uh, Mattel is a drag queen and she owns her own makeup company and makes really, really, really beautiful, highly pigmented, just gorgeous, fun colors of makeup. And this was a palette I really wanted that is called Plant Gay. <laughs> As you can see, the packaging is just super, super fun. Really like groovy. I, I just love it. And the color story in this palette is absolutely stunning. So here are the shadows in this palette. And honestly, the camera is not even doing them justice completely. But like these are so beautiful and just fun. Uh, bright colors. A lot of them give me very like Palm Springs vibes with these bright pinks and teals. I saw this palette and I thought I could really do some just fun like mod makeup looks with this. So I'm very, very excited about that palette as well. Also from Trixie Cosmetics, I got this a lip gloss or lipstick, lip something. <laughs> what is it technically? It says it's a lip gloss. It's a very pigmented lip gloss though, and it is called Ginger Spice. <laughs> Appropriate. I'm like, how cute is this little tube? It's got a pink, like heart shaped cap with the T for Trixie on it. Uh, it's this really pretty, like kind of deep brownish color, which I really like. Most of you know that my like signature lip color is a kind of orangey brown. I just thought this would look really pretty with my hair. I don't know. Let's try it and see what happens. Wait, this is so pretty. <gasps> I love the consistency too. It's like, I wear a lot of like matte cream 
like liquid lips. This is like, it is a gloss. It's very creamy and like it stays, it doesn't dry down. So it doesn't feel dry on the lip, but it also doesn't feel tacky. Like, like you know how lip glosses, like when we were kids were like sticky, <laughs> it felt really bad on your lips. This is really creamy and buttery, but like, Ooh, I love this. <laughs> I hadn't tried it yet. Ooh, that's a nice formula. Way to go, Trixie Cosmetics. <laughs> also in the package, they sent me this cute little pink powder puff, which is so, so cute. I love this. Next, I got a couple of vinyl records, which I absolutely love albums. I love listening to things on vinyl. I love the more like vintage sound, like the more, I don't even know how to describe it, like tinny, a tinnier sound on, on vinyl. It just mm, it makes me really happy. So I got a new vinyl and a vintage vinyl. The new one is from my mother-in-law and she got me Adele's 30 on vinyl, which I'm so, oh, I'm so excited. This album was, I, I bought it, I pre-ordered it on CD to keep in my car. I have all of Adele's CDs in my car. <laughs> This album was something completely different than anything she's done before. And I, I mean, I loved, <laughs> I loved every single song on this album. So I'm really thrilled to have the vinyl copy as well. We'll definitely be spinning this very soon, maybe even today. <laughs> and this other album I got was super unexpected and I love it. This is from my uncle and he got me a vintage 1974 Rocky Horror Show vinyl of the original cast with Tim Curry. <laughs> I love this album art, first of all. How fun is that? And I mean, it is just in mint condition. Oh, look. Uh, so much fun. I actually hadn't opened this yet, so I didn't know it did this. This is so great. Look, there's like a, a flap in here. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I am just an absolutely giant dork for Tim Curry. I love him so much. So this is gonna be so fun. I have the most fond memories of Rocky Horror Picture Show. I saw it for the first time when I was in high school at a cast party for a show that I was in. We all watched it and it like changed my life. And I mean, oh my gosh, look at this. Like it's still in the original sleeve like it's in just beautiful condition i love when someone knows you well enough that they get you something that like you didn't even know you wanted <laughs> does that make sense when i opened this i was so surprised because it's like not even something i would have thought to ask for but it's so awesome <laughs> i'm so excited to own it i have a record player here in my studio over on this shelf. And then I have one in my living room. When I was decorating for Christmas, I was listening to my like Barbara Streisand and Perry Como Christmas albums. I just, vinyl collecting like nice pieces like this is something that makes me just really, really happy. And I will, I will use them. So <laughs> very, I was just very excited. This was something super like small and fun and personal, but my mom gave me this little Beetle Volkswagen cookie cutter. <laughs> I don't know if it's, uh, if it'll show. Yeah, you can see. So uh, it's just like a little Beetle cookie cutter. <laughs> and it was in my stocking and I had to show it because I wanted a Beetle from the time I was like six years old and I collected them my whole childhood and I got my first one when I was 17 and I've driven one ever since. So this was just really cute and I can't wait. I would love to do a baking episode on the channel where we try to make some little beetle cookies because I think they're just so cute. Another really cute little thing here are these rainbow, like pastel rainbow earrings from my brother-in-law's girlfriend, Beth. She is so sweet and she knows that I love a big earring. <laughs> these are actually from a local maker in Kansas City and I love that they are rainbow, but they're like pastel. They're super cute. They're very like groovy, A. And B, I feel like they make like cute, subtle little pride merch as well. So these were so cute. This, if you follow me on Instagram, you may recognize this because I posted about it when I found it and then my mom got it for me <laughs> and I was so excited. This is a vintage Barbie travel case specifically for 
midge, which if y'all don't know, in the like early days of Barbie in the 50s and 60s, Barbie had a best friend named Midge and Midge was a redhead. <laughs> and apparently she's still like around. I didn't know that. I had a, actually one of y'all sent me a Tumblr, a really cute personalized Tumblr that said Midge on it. And I took it over to my, my friend's house and her little sister was like, oh, Midge, like in Barbie something, something. <laughs> like, I guess that there's a Barbie movie that Midge is in that is like a newer film. So I didn't know that Midge was still around. That's, it's very cool. But I saw this on eBay and I was obsessed. Look how, first of all, I don't know if you can see the trademark date here. Um, but this is from 1963 and it's original. This is vintage. So like, look at the condition of this vinyl. It is literally <laughs> in like near mint condition. Only one tiny little scratch on her face. I mean, zipper's still perfectly functional. Inside is like white, not really stained, no cracks. I don't know if <laughs> y'all know how hard it is to find things like this. Every version I saw of this, it was either like, this is, you know, cracked or brittle or like the vinyl here was bubbled up or there were like big cracks or tears in the sides and back or you know this was peeling away at the seams what have you but like this is in <laughs> perfect condition basically I mean as perfect as it's gonna be being that old I love it so much I am so thankful I sent my mom the eBay listing probably like two months ago and I was like, if you get me nothing else for Christmas, like this would be really, really cool to have. And she bought it like the minute I sent it to her. I was so excited to see it. So this will uh, just be a beautiful, beautiful display piece in the studio here. I'm gonna put it over on this shelf because um, it's got my name on it. <laughs> it's just so cute. Doesn't that kind of look like me? Come on, who is she? We know her. <laughs> Very, very cool. Thank you, mom. Okay, we're getting down to the last couple of things here. So the other thing my mom got me that was really, really special. Uh, Y'all, if you are not new here, know that we just did the Christmas Creepmas display in my dining room where I talked about the Christmas spider and that legend. And my mom got me this book, which is called The Christmas Spider's Miracle. And it is like a illustrated children's story about the Christmas spider and the legend from Ukraine about uh, how this spider comes and decorates the tree of this poor family who can't afford decorations. And they have their tree all decorated with webs from the spiders in the morning and it's glistening in the sunlight. This was just so cool. I, again, a thing I wasn't expecting that I was so appreciative for. Uh, this book is by Trinka Hakes Noble and illustrated by Stephen Costanza. And I, again, will link this down below so that you can check it out if you want th this for your families. But my mother always makes or has made some kind of uh, yearly Christmas ornament for my husband and I, or myself before my husband came around to commemorate the year or something special that happened or, you know, what have you. We always get some kind of very cool, thoughtful ornament for my mom at Christmas. And this year she got us our very own Christmas spider. And this like, <laughs> it like makes me cry. It is so beautiful. First of all, look at this beautiful ornament with this spider web and the crystal in the, in the middle of the spider's abdomen there. It's gold. It's just, oh, it's beautiful. It's like the perfect, this is what I would have picked out if I could pick out a Christmas spider ornament. This is perfect. And what made this really like special to me is that this started a tradition for my family. <laughs> like this, when Taylor and I someday hopefully have kids of our own, like I picture us reading this book to our kids the night we decorate the tree and putting up the Christmas spider and this being like, my very own little family tradition that is special. <laughs> oh, that is like a special thing to me and my family and, and it's spooky. 
Tradition is just something that's always been very, very important to me, and my family has a lot of very special traditions that I plan to continue to keep alive uh, for the rest of my days, and it just, it means a lot to be, you know, like in my second year of marriage and owning our own home for the first time and all these things, and to be like starting our own Christmas traditions. So <laughs> this is very, very sweet, very cool. I was, again, not expecting this, and it just like, it was the most special, wonderful gift, and I love it so much. And then lastly, this <laughs> behemoth that has been sitting back here the whole time, and you all have been thinking, Midge, what is that? <laughs> What's back there? Well, let me tell you. This was another weird, wonderful, unexpected gift for my uncle. <laughs> like, I, again, never could have in a million years predicted that he was gonna give me this. And when he brought it in, it was huge. And he kept telling me like, I think you already, he's like, I'm worried you might already have this. And I'm looking at the like sheer size of this. And I'm like, uh, no, I don't have anything that big in my home anywhere. But here it is. <laughs> Let me turn my ring light down so you can really see it. There we go. <laughs> Do you see how big this is? I am obsessed. So this is like, God, this has to be like 20 by 24 or something ridiculous. This is huge. My uncle got me a <laughs> giant Beetlejuice movie poster and had it like framed really nicely and everything. Again, this is just one of those like weird, wonderful things I never would have bought for myself. I have no clue where I'm gonna hang it, but <laughs> we're gonna figure it out. Probably in the studio, I would think. Maybe I'll move Frankie. I have like a Frankenstein over here, but I think that's the only wall big enough. Maybe, I don't even know if that wall's big enough for this. I have no idea, but <laughs> I, uh, I have a lot of Beetlejuice memorabilia that I've been like wanting to find a good way to display. So now I have no excuse. I have to. <laughs> it, this is just so cool. So, so cool. So a big old thank you to my uncle for <laughs> the most unexpected, delightful gift. I just, I love it. <laughs> Look how big this is. This is bigger than my torso. If I hold this under my nose, it hits my shin. <laughs> So that is my little Christmas haul. I had a really awesome Christmas, as you can see. I feel so lucky to have like so many awesome people in my life who know me so well. And I think that's the really special part of getting a gift, right? Is like that someone is showing you that they listen to you and that they like know you well. And it's just, it's always really special when you have that kind of love in your life. I also wanted to take a quick moment and mention that I got kind of a <laughs> Christmas gift yesterday from a wonderful follower, subscriber, uh, person who listens to the Ghouls Night In podcast, which if you don't, please go check it out. It is the pride and joy of 2021 for me. Uh, but this wonderful artist, Grizzly Workshop, makes these very cool like haunted woods dolls, like sculptures. And she had told me a while back that she was making one based on my Lady Glampus Krampus woman from last Christmas. And yesterday she finished it and posted the photo and tagged me in it. And look, look at this. How freaking cool is this? <laughs> so that was also kind of a, uh, a gift for me because it was so cool to see someone's incredible, beautiful art based off of something that I created. And yeah, I was just, oh, I was overwhelmed by that. I love it so much. Uh, my understanding is that she is sending me one of those and then there will be uh, an opportunity for you to buy them or pre-order them in her shop as well if you would like your own Lady Glampus. <laughs> so I wanted to uh, take a minute and shout that out because what a what a cool thing to have. I am I am just over the moon about it, ecstatic. I can't wait to find a special place for it here in the studio. So for the last bit of this video, I just wanted to take a moment and talk about this year because the next time I see you all will be in 2022. And that's 
wild to me. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to like take a second and talk about this year and kind of talk about what all happened because <laughs> it's been a really wild, wild year. I keep uh, content planners for what I'm working on YouTube wise and I found this in the back of my 2020 notebook and I had marked that on January 1st, 2021, I had 6,287 YouTube subscribers. And today I have 24,156 YouTube subscribers. I had also found this note in my phone that I had made where I talked about the, like what I was manifesting for the rest of 2021. I wrote this in February. And so I wrote these all as like, I am statements as things that I was already putting out into the universe that I was going to achieve this year. I am incredibly successful and happy running my YouTube channel as a full-time business. Check. <laughs> By the end of August, I have a partnership with Spirit Halloween and they are paying me to make videos. <laughs> Check. I have at least two other paid sponsorships. Check. I have 10,000 Instagram followers. <laughs> Check. I have 10,950. And I started the year with 4K. And the last one was I have over 25,000 YouTube subscribers, which I didn't quite make that quota. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm just over 24K, but for starting at 6K, <laughs> I am, uh, I'm going to count that as a success. The fact that this year I was able to leave my full-time job and do this as a career and have amazing opportunities like going to the flagship store for Spirit Halloween and working with other awesome brands and, and meeting all these other incredible creators and getting to travel and finally feeling in control of my life and enjoying what I do, being able to actually take care of my mental health for the first time in my life. All of these things were things that two years ago didn't seem possible. And even though we are still in a really weird place in our world, and there's a lot of things this year that were by no means perfect, I am so thankful for this year and all that came with it. And I am so thankful for all of you for making this possible for me. I'm very excited for 2022. I know I still have a lot of room to grow into this career and to figure out uh, what I'm doing. <laughs> But I'm excited. I'm really excited and I'm so thankful to have you all along for the ride. I know next year is going to bring just wonderful things and I have so many exciting ideas that I cannot wait to share with all of you and I'm putting this out in the universe. <laughs> My big goal next year is to put out a book. So um, that's what I'm manifesting in 2022 is that I am going to be a uh, the author of a, of a book, and I hope that uh, that all comes together and that when it does, you all really enjoy it. Anyway, <laughs> that is all for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for being a part of this community. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel before you leave today. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know something exciting you received this year or what you're excited about going into 2022, or let me know about a milestone you achieved this year. I would love to hear about it. Thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Remember, you can find all the details about that in the description box below. I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your 2021. I will see you in the new year. And until then, keep it campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. Bye. Come out to socialize.